Hello everyone, it's Nick here with Nick Tolman Music, and today we're going to go ahead and continue our beginner guitar lesson series using Mel Bay's Modern Guitar Method, Grade 1. Today we're going to be looking at page 16. And this is a great page, it's really combining a lot of things. So far we've learned notes on the first four strings. We've learned whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and eighth notes. We've also learned about ties, which will also be featured on this page. This page is going to give us three different exercises that are really just going to tie all of these concepts together. And they're, and they're good songs to play. Looking at the first exercise, we have Amazing Grace. Now generally, my, most of my lessons I usually start at 72, I give you an example at 72 on the metronome, and I give you an example at 120. We're going to start a little slower. Generally, I don't, you're never going to hear Amazing Grace at 120 at that tempo. Feel free to practice it faster if you just want to drill that, but we're going to start a little slower because that's generally where we would hear this song played anyway. So we're going to start at 60 on the metronome. We're in 3-4 time, which means we get three beats in every measure, and we have a pickup note. So here we go. One, two, three, one, two. Half note. Three and half note. That's Amazing Grace at 60 on the metronome. I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to 72 so you can hear it just a little bit faster. I'm going to do less counting out loud this time and just playing it through. The whole idea behind me counting out loud when I play is just kind of really giving you the idea of what should be going on in your head while you play. But this time I'm just going to play so you can hear. One, two, three. One, two. So there's Amazing Grace at 72. Feel free to play it faster, like I said, if you want, or even slower if you need to. But that exercise really incorporates a lot of the concepts that we have learned so far. All right, before I move on to the next exercise, I'm gonna go ahead and play the chords for you. I'm gonna do this back at 60, so you have something to play along with. This is Amazing Grace. I'll go ahead and play the chords so you can play along. One, two, Three, one, two.
let's go ahead and take a look at the second exercise, tenting tonight. We're going to go ahead and start it at 72. Back to common time or 4-4 four, four time, but we do have a pickup note, so here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. So that's probably the longest exercise that we've had so far and there's a lot to it right we've got eighth notes we've got chord notes half notes we've got rest we've got down strokes up strokes all those kinds of things some of the concepts that i've talked about in previous lessons are going to be really important here there's no expectation for anyone that the first time you ever look at this that you're going to be able to play from top to bottom and play it perfect if you can great that's awesome but the more realistic scenario is that you might have some hiccups or some things that you're struggling with or you might make a couple measures in and you totally fall apart and that's okay so some things that you might do to help practice are first you can start slow even slower than 72 and work your way up but also you can do some isolation we've talked about this in previous lessons isolate the problem spots for you and really focus on those Another thing you can do is what I like to call chunking. Okay, so chunking is basically you take a small chunk and then you slowly make that chunk bigger and then you do it same thing in another place and then eventually you put those chunks together. So what I might do is I might practice just the first measure. I'll do the pickup as well. But the first measure with the pickup is my first chunk. So I might practice. <laughs> I'll do that over and over again until I feel really comfortable with it. So then I'm going to say, okay, well now my next chunk that I'm going to work on is a second measure. So I'm going to practice just the second measure. Yeah, that one's a little easier, right? Now I'm going to put those two chunks together. So I'm going to do that first part and then the second measure. So here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna try it again. And then I might add a new chunk. So let's look at the third measure. Now let's try it again. Starting to feel pretty comfortable with it, so let's add it to our earlier chunk. We're going to start at the beginning and add that. You can see the pattern. I might follow this pattern up through the first line and then start this pattern over again just on the second line. Do a whole chunking process for just the second line and then eventually add the first and second line together. Continue this process throughout the whole song until you feel like you have the whole thing really learned. Here are the chords for Tenting Tonight so you can play along. Metronome at 72. One, two, three, four, one, two, three.
There you go. Good job. Let's go ahead and try it at a faster tempo. So here is 120 and the melody to Tenting Tonight. So you can hear what it sounds like. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's a really good goal tempo for that. And it might take you some time to build up to that speed, but I know you can do it. Here is the accompaniment at 120 in case you want to play along at that tempo. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Great job. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at Melancholy. We're gonna go ahead and set our metronome to 72. We're in 3-4 time and we have a pickup note. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two. What a nice melody. It does sound a little melancholy. It's kind of a sad, sad sounding song. But there are some things in here to watch out for. Obviously, it's utilizing all the things that we've talked about. But the big thing to me on this one is the first two notes. And that, it actually happens multiple times where we go from that E to the A. This is, I think, the first time in the book that we have a situation where we have to play a note, and then another note with the same finger on the next string. Now you have basically two approaches that you might take with that. One is that you play the first note, you lift your finger, and you play the second note. The problem with that is if you start playing at faster tempos, it, start, it might start to sound a little choppy because you're actually having to physically lift and move. Another option is you might do something like this, where you play the first note, you're up on the up on your fingertip in a good place on E, and then you kind of lay your finger down because you can actually play both of those notes at the same time if you lay that down. That's the beginning of what we would talk about later, which is called barring notes, where you play you can play multiple notes across a fret with the same finger using a bar. Use your finger as a bar to cover multiple strings. So this would be a good time to maybe practice the beginning of that and see if you can play both of those notes with the one finger just down. Right? I'm not moving my second finger, I'm just covering both of those notes. E and A on the second fret. I think 
Jamie does it later. Yeah, on the third line. So here's the third line. So that's kind of the idea. Just something maybe you can try and experiment with it and see if that makes it a little easier for you instead of having to jump with that one finger. Here are the chords, the accompaniment part that you can play along with at 72. One, two, three, one, and two. Here's the melody at today. Those are some challenging exercises. Please take your time on this page. Make sure that you spend as much time as you need to to really be comfortable. If you're having problems, please comment below and let me know what you might need help with and I will do my best to answer those questions for you either on the comments or maybe I'll make a video to help answer the question that you are having. Thank you for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. If you enjoyed today's content, please check out my Patreon page, and we'll see you next time.